Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm doing my Friday favorites and flops. And if you hear my kids screaming in the background, they are protesting Nat because I swear they want to see Monster Mommy come out. Because I don't know if any of you guys who have kids, but when my kids don't nap, I'm like, take a nap. Because I don't know, it's like something in me. I mean, I should be blessed that my kids are four and they still relatively, four and a half, and they still relatively nap for like two to three hours a day, but I'm like spoiled by it. And if they don't take a nap, I pretty much turn into a monster. I need to work on that in 2013. Okay, so welcome to 2013. Um, I hope you all had a happy new year and I'm just gonna get right into my Friday favorite. My first favorite is this nail polish. It's in Mermaid Tail. Wait, let me look. Mermaid, Mermaid's Tail, T-A-L-E. So it's like a green with, a, or like a blue with a lot of like green or teal. It's like a teal with a lot of like sparkle shimmers in it. I love it. I posted a picture of Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, we don't have, I was on a big road trip. So I'm kind of like behind on my videos. I'm trying to catch up, but Anyways, I went to Michigan, and they have Rite Aids in Michigan, which are the only place you can find Julie G nail polish, I believe. Anyways, I picked up a ton of different colors, but this was just one of the most unique ones that I picked up, and I did pick up another one for a giveaway, so. Um, but anyways, I just love, love, love this nail polish color, and I Instagrammed a picture where I feel like I could, ca I captured the color of it pretty well. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Lola Lynn Mitchell. Um, and I would love to connect with y'all there. Another kind of combo I loved this week was I was trying out the new Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I'm in the color Vanilla, 120 Vanilla. It's a very light shade, so don't be alarmed. I am that pale. Um, but my friend Cassie on here, Shades of Cassie, she sent me this beauty blender. And... Okay, Cassie, I have washed this thing, like, after every use. I wash it after every use, and I can't get all the foundation out. So I think I need to buy, like, the Beauty Blender cleaner. Um, but anyways, I love the Beauty Blender. I love it a whole, whole lot. It does give a flawless finish. I really like this foundation. I think there are a lot of reviews on it out there, so I'm not going to give my review. I would say it's medium coverage. Um really creamy goes on smooth i i really really like it um it's a nice light foundation it does feel like you're nearly wearing nothing so i think it would be good for combination dry skin normal skin so it seems like it's an all-around pretty good formula um i really like it and it does have spf 20 in it so i've been using these two together this week because i've been trying out this foundation and i have really really liked it that's what i have on my face today Okay, so the Beauty Blender, you, you can get these online at Sephora or I think Ulta might sell them. Anyways, I think they're 20 something dollars, but you can shop around. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon for cheaper, but I know that a lot of people have said that they've tried a bunch of different like dupe sponges and none of them come close to the actual Beauty Blender. Now, I haven't tried the other one, so I can't say if they do come close or not in my opinion, but I think the general consensus out there is that there's nothing like the Beauty Blender. I did hear in a lot of people's favorites that they loved the um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and so when I was home, I picked this up. It's in light. Um, this doesn't look like it's very pale. I but it was one of the lightest colors, but it's a really great spot concealer for my face. So I, I really have been enjoying using this. Um, I do, I like the coverage that it gives. It's very creamy um, and I haven't ha found problems with the creasing. So I really enjoyed this, th this this week and it's fairly relatively cheap. You can pick this up for around $4. My hair believe. favorite for the week is this Bumble and Bumble Prep. It's, you're supposed to spray it on your Spray on damp or dry hair, give your scalp a massage, then comb through and style layer under thickening hairspray for an ultimate blow, blow dry. Basically, this is just a elixir and it prepares your hair for blow drying and heat products. Um, I really have bought this kind of on a whim. I've had this for a while and I figured I really needed to spray it up. It says it has full of herbs and vitamins that condition and soothe the scalp. It helps, uh, soothes away tangles and helps styling products adhere evenly. So. I've really just been trying to use this up, and I love this smell. It's like almost like a tonicky, herby, fresh smell. I, re I really like it. So I've been trying to use this up, and I've really enjoyed using it. Question for you guys. So 
this happened when I was in Michigan, and I just attributed it to the drier weather. Um, and it is kind of cold here in Texas now, but my hair is like, I straightened it today. Um, but it's like, I put oil and stuff in it, but it's static electricity, you know, like you do this and it like, I feel like I can't ever get it to like smooth down no matter what I put in it. It always like static electricity. So what do I do to get rid of static electricity? If you know, leave it in the comments below because I don't know if I'm just like missing it or something. I've tried oil. I've tried like finishing products, hairspray, everything. Nothing is like taking away this initial like static electricity. Okay, so for the combination I'm wearing on my lips today, I absolutely love this and I know I've talked about it in a video before but this is one of the max pro Longwear lip creams in love forever it's just a really pretty um, true pink like a medium pink color it basically matches the color of my shirt in person it's like a blue pink I love 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 it um, I like the formula of these they really do stay on and they become a little bit tacky like after you put them on like you can rub your lips together and they're a little bit tacky, but they're nothing like the Revlon color stay that kind of tacky thing. Um, anyways, I really do, I really do enjoy these lipsticks and I really love that color. And then over it, I am using the Revlon lip butter in cups. It's like a purple toned, uh, lip gloss. It's kind of stained a little bit because of the lipstick, but it's like a purple lavender lip gloss, lip butter. And so that's the color of the lip butter right there. And so over it, I just think it makes a really pretty lip combination. And um, the Pro Longwear formulas, all those formulas tend to be just a little bit drying. So I, I find when I put a Revlon lip butter over it, that kind of helps combat the dryness. So I have been really, I really like this lip combination. And I feel like it pairs really nicely with anything. Um, you guys know me, I really like bold lips. If you're so. looking for some more of my favorite lip combinations, I did post a video on some of my favorite lip combos for the new year, so you can, I will try and link that video at the I end of it. two to three more favorites and then one fail. Okay, so one of my favorites this week has been, I was trying out the new Maybelline Rocket Mascara. There's a lot of reviews, I'm not going to do one, but I will just tell you right here, I really like it. It's a nice sleek packaging. You open it up and it has like a brush similar to like CoverGirl's Last Blast or Volume Express. I don't know. Um, it's like a, a rubbery one with short rubbery bristles and then the end kind of has some bristles. So I will say that when you do it right here at the base to like wiggle through your eyelashes, it does like not hurt but it's a little bit more uncomfortable than other ones but i really like this mascara for layering i got it in waterproof and i find that it does it doesn't clump and it builds up your mask your builds up your lashes really nice so i really do i really have been liking this um i suggest if you get a chance to go ahead and pick it on my eyes today i've been using and i did a whole video about this several months back but it was like a product rave and then i did a day to night look this is the l'oreal hip duo and electrified this is like the prettiest taupe metallic color swatch it on my hand i can't describe it it's extremely creamy very metallic very very pretty and then this color right here is like a deepened plum color these two just pair so beautifully together so that's the duo right there so i have the plum color in my crease and i blend it out with the color mauve from the lorac pro palette and then i tapped this i use my fingertip on the bottom of this it does come down here with a brush a sponge applicator brush which i feel like that shimmer color applies really well when you use either your finger or the sponge applicator so that's just an FYI but anyways you can find these at any drugstore or Target or whatever but anywhere that your that L'Oreal is sold something that I used this week and I picked up had high hopes for but okay so this is the baby lips one and it's Melon Mania the new baby lips and Melon Mania um, I wanted this to be like the same opacity as the pink punch but it's not. So if you wanted something, I guess, a little bit, like I'm rubbing this back and forth on my hand and like that is the color payoff right there. So I do like baby lips, but this is basically no color at all. So if you're expecting any color, like the pink punch one, I'm excited for the watermelon or melon mania. 
basically smells like candied melons like a Jolly Rancher. And now for my um, flop of the week. I was really excited about these initially and then I was apprehensive about them because I had heard from several people that they were nothing special and before I could even get my hands on one I like to see for myself because you know everyone has a different opinion of things so sometimes I like to see for myself. I really wanted to see for myself but these are the new Maybelline Color Whispers and cute packaging it's a lot sleeker like let me just compare it to Revlon lip butter you can see it's just you know sh the lip butters have thicker you know packaging this one's shiny and whatever but it's the same concept so this is just you know Maybelline's version of it um the color selection is pretty great this color okay it looks like it would be something special like that's it built up and it looks like it would be, you know, nice, but this is extremely drying, like really drying. Wears off almost instantaneously, like upon putting it on. Um, I feel like when you put it on your lips, it does not wear the same way it swatches. This color is in 70 Faint for Fuchsia. Um, that's definitely going to be the only one that I pick up, and it's going to be one of those things that, like, I'm never going to grab for it ever. I'm just going to kind of use it up. I might even pass it along to somebody. But that color is a gorgeous color and I wanted it to be everything that it was that I thought it was. But the truth of the matter is I don't think anything can compare to Revlon Lip Butters. I just love that formula. So that is my flop of the week. I just really wanted to thank you for your continued support, especially in these new Friday favorites and flops videos. If you have any products that you've been loving this week, leave them in the comments below and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. It's like a pinky purple um, and it has a really nice sheen to it. I don't usually like frosty lipsticks, but I really like the sheen.